Right, it's that time of the show to find out whether Dawn Hill will be facing food heaven or food hell. Yeah. Food heaven would be obviously a Cornish pasty. Yeah. Food hell would be tentacles yeah. and squid. Yeah. It was looking pretty good. Uh, it was so far, I the thought. the people watching at home. Yeah. Mark stuck by his guns and went for fish. Right, hate did, you. Did, did hate you. <laughs> yeah, no, did, really did like, like you, now don't. <laughs> was going to Jersey, did now never coming. Anyway, because yeah. that's what made it 6-1, so it's a no-brainer. Yeah. You're getting yeah. Cornish pasty. So if you can then dice up the veg for me, really. So the Cornish pasty yeah. veg, what we got in here, is we've got potatoes, swede, <coughs> onion. No carrot. No carrot. Never no carrot. have carrot. Never have pasta. carrot. No, never. So those so, are the veg. So if you yes. can dice me those up, please. I'm going to make the pastry which we've got in here as well, which is like a short pastry. Yeah. Which is, this is where the origins are thought to originate from, isn't it, really? Yeah. That's sort of, well, well as far safe. as I know, it goes back to the 13th century or something like that. And, um, Henry III, I believe. That's right. And, um, you know, there are massive uh, differences about pasties between Devon and Cornwall, of right. course. It's something to do with the crimping, I believe. That's what I've been told by my family. I think that it is. A Cornish pasty has the crimping round the edges and the kind of D minute. shape, yeah. and a Devon pasty has the crimping along the, the top. top. <laughs> Although there are Cornish people who do that. In and fact, it's never served with salad. Never with salad and never That's with... That's why I've the 556 with... people have just phoned <laughs> up as well during the show. But, but the idea is that the pastry was there to, to hold it together. This is why it became popular with miners, didn't it? Really? It did. Well, miners used to take them, obviously, down the mines. And my granny said that you could make a pasty that would still be warm at lunchtime. And the reason they have those big knobbly ends on them is right. so that... Because these were arsenic. There was arsenic in the mines. So you've got guys with poison on their hands and they'd hold the nobbles and eat the pasty and throw away the nobbles. Right. And some people had pasties which had um, the meat and the potatoes and everything in one side and the pudding in the other side. You'd have apple and custard in the other side. You need to come onto the show more often, you say. It's like, it's like a history <laughs> lesson for it us. It is, well. but I only know about pasties. I only I don't know, know about, about anything else. Well, that's your, that's your pastry, really. So that's the idea of it. Now, also, as well, Ye olde times, it would yes. be thought that the pasty would then hold together if it was dropped down a mine shaft. Yes. I'm not going to make mine that hard, to be <laughs> honest. But that's the idea of the, the, the pastry. The pastry's got a little bit of lard in it, it's got salt, and it's got flour, and water brings it all together. So it's actually a very, very simple little dough. And wrap it up, pop it in the fridge, let it yep. firm up, yep. and we've got one to roll out. Now, the boys are then cracking on and doing my veg here. Yeah. 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 Now, and then this is where... It's been a bit confusing with Cornish pasty, to be honest with you, because the ingredients don't have to be from Cornwall. No. But you have to make it in Cornwall. Oh, oh, really? To call it a Cornish pasty. Oh, I'm surprised at that. I would have thought it would yeah. have to be. Is it shin? So I can take this with me yes. to Cornwall, make it, bring it back and call it a Cornish yeah. pasty. Oh, I see. Okay. And it doesn't well, have to be baked in Cornwall as well. Oh, doesn't it? No. Mm. Mm. See, that's where it's a bit, a bit confusing, but we're going to use beef. No lamb in Cornish pasty. It's got to be beef. Yes. This is This is beef skirt as well. Skirt. And this is about sort of minimum 12 and a half percent beef. So there's a lot of veg going in here as well. Yes. Into there. So it's you've all got good your veg. It's proper peasant food, isn't it? Proper, proper stuff, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like yeah. That. And then some salt. Well, pepper, but yeah, I actually think it needs quite a stuff. bit of salt in here as well. Do so you want to know one of the reasons why this is going to be so, really so heaven for me? Go on then. It's because I was trying to lose a, a bit of weight right. of, in I'll the last that. couple of years, and so I haven't had things like this. So it was, in fact, up until a couple of weeks ago, I, I had gone two years without a pasty. Two years. Two years? Yeah, two years. And they are my favourite, favourite thing. And also, a sad thing happened, which was my, that my mum died, and she was the person that made the pasties for me. Right. And so I thought, oh, I'm never going to taste a pasty as delicious as that ever again. You're probably not as well today. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> no. But then I met a lovely new chap, and his mum made me a pasty right. her oh, way. No. So I've got a new sauce for pasties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Right, that's your pastry, you see? Like that. Yes. And then we just get it nice, well, not too thin, you see? Yes. Is, see, I feel under pressure now, because not only have I got somebody from Cornwall, yes. I've got the entire Cornish population watching you this. <laughs> so, I think you roll it about sort of that. Yeah, that looks about right. Does that look about right? That looks about right. Does that look about right? You don't want a soggy bottom. Leave that right, to me. Then we're going to get... <laughs> One of these plates, yes. like that, and then using a knife. This is turning out to be the most enjoyable show, James. You're the only one who's working. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I've just been told I've got to make a Cornish pasty in, in literally 12 minutes, uh, in, in six minutes. Right, we've got the meat filling. Yep. Get rid of that. 
You boys can make one. <laughs> like, you can do me the salad, please. We need some salad? You're yes, still I'm going with the salad. Still going. Still I'm going, going with the salad. Even though it's yeah. entirely foolish. Don't mind. <laughs> okay. Don't mind. You need an apron, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They've got nothing to do and there's two minutes left, so get them to do some salad. Always please. be generous with the meat. Is that enough? Yes. Is that all right? Yeah, that's good. Right. <laughs> right. So much looking forward to your crimping. This so is... much looking forward. Some people plat around the side. Yeah, don't build it up. Don't build it up. Right. And now put a wish in. You've got to put a wish in. Hurry up. Oh. That's, that's my wish. Luckily, I got yeah. mine in before you closed it. Oh, right. No, you need butter and cream in there. Where's the cream? There you go. You need some... You can either use... This is an option extra. You either use butter... Yes. ...or cream. OK. What do you think? Both. Mm, yeah, I would say... <laughs> right. Well, I would say cream, personally. And clotted at that. Is that olive oil? Right. It's all good Americans. for you. Everything's good for you. Right. See... Mm. What's wrong with that? Well, because you're not crimping it at all. You need to. I'm not doing it, it yet. Like that. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Okay. Go. We're going for the D shape. Right, you ready? The traditional D shape. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's allowable. Yeah. Is that right? Good. Yeah. Yeah. So you fold it in on each other. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So you're creating that little plait. That's right. That's Am good. I doing it all right? Yeah. Very good. Very good indeed. Looking forward to this so much you cannot imagine. Right. <laughs> Egg wash <laughs> tray. We haven't got so time for a tray. Egg yeah, wash. Lovely. Yes, lovely. So you haven't got time for a tray, so you're just going to throw it in the oven. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I might be wrong. Right? Bring it on. Pasting. And in it goes. Go with this one, actually. In the oven. Go with that one. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> right. There's another one here. Oh, I'm quite glad you have got a cooked one. I was yeah. worrying about the raw one. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Looks great. Right. And then we grab our slice, you see. I would call that a kin to a Cornish pasty. A kin to one, yeah. Is that all right? Yes. Yes! Lovely glaze, so, actually. Is that, is that just an egg glaze, so, then? Don't, don't serve it with salad, we no, told I you. Don't serve it with salad. <laughs> <laughs> right. And there you go. Oh, thank you so much. Cornish pasty. Thank right, you I need so to get the much. wine. Oh. Dive in. Mm. Yeah, it uh, fantastic. To go with this, Peter has chosen a house corbier from Sainsbury's place at £3. 79 pence. Can I dig in now? Dig in, dig, dig in, in now. Dig in. Well, right. Before you dig in, tell us the name of your new book. My new book? Oh, actually, you've cooked me this, so let me give you you've that You've got ten present. seconds, sir. Here it is. Oh, dear Sylvia, my new book, and that's oh, for you. Thank you. Yes, good. eBay. Lovely. Yes. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's have a look at it. Yeah, very well, good. You'll have to dive into it now. Very that's good. all for so today's Kitchen Live. Thanks to Mark Jordan, Atul Kutcher and Dawn Friends. Cheers to Peter Richards for the brilliant wine choices. Mm. Remember, all of today's Thank recipes are, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk <laughs> forward slash Saturday Kitchen. And don't forget to put your clocks back, otherwise you'll miss our Best Bites programme at 10 o'clock uh, over on BBC Two tomorrow. We're back live next week at the usual time. Have a great weekend. Happy? Dawn, lovely. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>